I'm Rita Crandall and this is V-Bite. And my goodness, what an amazing October we had. We kicked it off with Merci for the Magic, our French Quarter um, Halloween kickoff parade, and it just went full force from there. It's a, a whirlwind, really. Um, every single ball went amazingly well. Uh, there was the Anne Rice Ball on the Friday night of the weekend, and I heard nothing but great things about that. It was at a beautiful venue, Republic, and I mean, you know, it's always very elegant, an elegant event, so that was great. We went to the Witches Ball, and that was beautiful as always, a magical, fantastical experience. That night was also the Endless Night Ball, which is at the House of Blues, and I heard nothing but good things about that. And then on Sunday, the fun wasn't over because there was still the Bloodlust Ball, and that was at Generations Hall, and again, heard nothing but good things about that. So vampires everywhere had an amazing time, as well as witches. Um, okay, so <laughs> Halloween, we thought Monday night would not be that you know, special. So my friends and I went out and Kim B, one of our artists that I finally met, uh, she was able to spend quite a bit of time with me and that was really neat because we got to discuss all our projects for the upcoming year and it was just nice meeting her in person. Anyway, she went with me to a party at my friend Aaron's bar, the Toulouse Dive Bar, on Halloween night and the street was like Mardi Gras. It was out of control. It was busier than any other night of the Halloween weekend. So anyway, I had a little brainstorm that night, and all witches are welcome. So since we kick off Halloween with Messi for the Magic, we are now going to also, as much as they do, a lot of you probably don't know this, but Mardi Gras is a very long time, about a, a little over a month. And the last parade of Mardi Gras is on Mardi Gras night at midnight. It's a police parade and police horses come through and clear the streets and announce that Mardi Gras is over and the streets cleaned up behind them with, you know, a washing um, street cleaner and then people step aside but then and they're supposed to go into bars and then they all come out and party again. But it's definitely a tradition. And so with us kicking off Halloween, I thought, you know what, and it came to me on Halloween night so there's something really magical about this. Next Halloween, we will be starting Halloween season and we will be ending it. At midnight on October 31st, the last parade or last thing will be um, police horses leading the way and then Skins and Bones is the group that leads our parade, Messy for the Magic. Um, they're a marching parade, that, a drumming parade and they dress like skeletons. So they will be leading the way on, also on Halloween night after the police and then it will be a ton of witches with brooms and we're going to be doing a dance and that is a really really magical dance it's a german um, group originated it anyway we're going to be dancing down the street and ending halloween the official ending of halloween and then everybody will go out and party again but anyway it's i'm very excited about it so all witches are welcome i'll be posting a bunch about that and about how to learn the dance and then we hope to see you on halloween night for that next year okay so now that halloween is officially over we're looking towards Christmas and we are doing the creepy side of Christmas. I really transformed the shop into a kind of a really unusual little Christmas shop. So the garland goes up and the creepy ornaments come out. We, most of our artists like do something special and I'm really fortunate. I actually look forward to Christmas more than ever now because we have so many cool things. So starting with Kim B, we have our Rufus doll that I wrote a little story for and um, Sarah Segovia makes a Rufus ornament for us. He's a Yuletide bat. And we have all kinds of creepy ornaments from Kimby, like Pee Pee Kitty, who beckons your kitty cat into the tree. And you'll be seeing all these. I'll feature one every night. But we got our first ornament in today by our artist, Lila. And she does our little voodoo companions. But these are going to be our voodoo companion ornaments. And this little guy got into the Christmas lights. Isn't that adorable? So we'll have a bunch of these. They come in different colors and are just, I mean, really sweet. Whoop, going the wrong way. And then she also does our adoptive vampires and every year we're going to have an adoptive vampire collectible so this year they'll be also with christmas lights next year he might be holding a christmas tree so you know definitely check out our christmas site that'll be going up next week and you can watch for all of our ornaments we'll have a lot of krampus stuff again krampus stuff dolls hopefully stephanie, stephanie knight will make me another krampus baby doll we'll see anyway um watch for all that and uh I also have a secret, and this is just for you guys, my followers. Um, if you're in New Orleans, if you live in New Orleans for sure, if you come quite a bit, then I am developing an extension of our shop 
because when the shop ends, you know, I send people to all the fun places to go in town and some are secret. Well, we are going to open up a secret bar. It's like a secret lounge called Potions Lounge. You have to have a password to get in. You have to be a member or you have to at least come by the shop and be a guest of mine. And so um, you go through a little club, a jazz club, and then you pretty much enter an alternate universe. So you go up these beautiful stairs and there is a magical lounge with holograms and um, we're gonna have purple absinthe and on Sundays we're going to have high tea and leaf readings and we're gonna grow all the herbs on the balcony for our specialty cocktails. We're gonna have midnight margaritas. I mean, I can't go on with all the special stuff. Our grand opening is New Year's Eve and it is a private party. It'll be members only, but it'll also be limited seating for members. So if you want to join and you want to participate with us on New Year's Eve, definitely check this out. My website is not completely perfect yet because you can't put in your um, private information, but you can take a secret look. It's potionslounge.com and it'll give you a little bit of the feel of what the club is going to be like. We're gonna have tarot readers and, um, oh, I can't even, you know, it's a magic club also. So magic shows and magicians will just be lounging. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a celebrity now and then. All right, well, um, you know, keep in touch. And if you're interested, definitely you can contact me personally as well, but check out the site and it will be really up and running next week. It'll probably be, you know, pretty well done. All right, we will, so our grand opening is New Year's Eve. It won't be open before then. And uh, after our private party, which is from nine to one, we will open the doors to other members until four o'clock. And uh, it's just gonna be a really special place. So happy new year, y'all. <laughs> I'll see you soon on V-Byte.